Hello everyone and welcome back to New Jang City where some stuff has happened. Back in that corner, so let's go over there. Ah, check it out. I have an engine house of sorts. It's a work in progress. It's incomplete, but the walls are there. Uh, the beginning of a roof is there, and that just suddenly kind of legitimizes my my little uh, train yard back here. Actually, gives some structure to it. Unfortunately, it makes the whole thing quite a bit smaller. I have a lot less space to store uh, just regular rolling stock now, but at least I can always put the locomotives inside there and that looks appropriate. But yeah, it just really brings things together. And to get that to that point where I would even start that building, I did go ahead and put in more of my, uh, my ballast. So you can see that the ballast now continues on. A little bit, little bit better since I got some more pieces to work for that. The 1x2s and 1x4s and 1x6s and 1x8s to <laughs> go around the edges. So that goes just a little bit too far right now. It actually goes inside that, that building just a little bit. I need to, to bring that back a little bit. But the building itself was actually uh, designed on the fly, completely on the fly as I went. And it's entirely based upon uh, part availability. I refused to do a BrickLink order specifically for this this build. I wanted to build it now with parts that I had on hand. So all the color choices were based on just what I had in stock and a lot of the individual part choices were based on what I had in stock. And you'll notice if you scrutinize it really really closely that it's just temporarily placed right now. That's not something to worry about. Like I said, it's a work in progress. It's incomplete. It doesn't even have an interior for the most part. It has a little bit, but you know, it, it was it was all just about getting this thing in place. Let me see if I can let you see from down here. Lower angle before another train comes by to run into me here. But yeah, there's a little bit of detail in there. Oh, there comes the train. <laughs> there's a little bit of detail in there. Uh, not a lot, but it lets some light in from the sides with all the windows on the sides. It's got a row of windows up on the top. It's very shiny on the side there. I also have some transparent uh, slope bricks up here on the on the top in the center of the roof. Uh, again, just based on part availability. I actually had more of the clear slope 2x2 two two bricks than the gray ones. So that worked out quite well. And the sand green was just luck again that I had those pieces available. Let's uh, look at this from the other side. Well, one of the other sides. Uh, it's a little bit more boring from this side, I guess, but it's not bad. You know, I got some texture in it. I'll probably change how the, the windows are done at the very top around this corner because it doesn't have enough structure there. I probably should have some solid bricks in that corner. A lot of stuff, a lot of little stuff will change on this. Needs more detail on the outside, you know, needs lights, needs a little bit more to be done for the roof that's just looking too unfinished because it is unfinished. But, you know, it just, it just blends into the space and provides a, a major structure that I've been wanting uh, actually since I was a kid, since I first liked trains. Uh, it's something I, I've never had in my life in, in model form. So that's, that's nice for me. It's good for, good for the soul. And uh, like I say, it just legitimizes this this yard back here, you know, makes everything look more complete, more proper, more like it belongs here, in my opinion. So I'm very happy about that. I'm happy to finally have the, the ballast in. The ballast comes all the way down to the end here and goes all through here. So this entire section out here is, is floated, uh, going back to the beginning of the, the yard back there. And then after that, it returns to the ground again. Actually. I think more of it is floated temporarily, but the inner loop is not yet floated and the little spot where, for now, I have the, the fire train that's not permanent yet. I haven't decided completely if that's where that's going to go and how it's going to go. I have some various options for that. The fire station may move, will likely move, but yeah, stuff is coming together. I feel like that change right there help things so much back in this corner that has been 
really so barren for so long and has had so much work put into it, redoing it, optimizing it to maximize the amount of track, switch track that is available to hold on to rolling stock without wasting space that could be used for buildings and, and roads, but mostly buildings. But uh, this, this, this was the end goal. I'm gonna put some more smaller structures in there and also some, some more little things, you know, little relay boxes and signals and stuff like that, you know. Uh, foliage also, I should have done that before this video, but it's just getting a little bit late. So yeah, just good, positive stuff. Makes me feel good. I think it makes the whole place look better. Yeah, that's it. That's it right there. That's what I want to see. And, uh, well, now you've seen it too. Hope you like it. If you don't, that's okay. I like it. And uh, I'm going to continue working on it, you know, add more details over time. But the major stuff is there. It's helped the entire room, in my opinion. And I've got a lot more stuff to do elsewhere as well. So I'll just keep at it. And I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.